Welcome to the World Tarot. This is going to be a reading for October 2021 for Pisces, Divine Masculine. That's too quick. Okay, Phil. This is for Phil. Phil can be a little accident prone, but underneath his clumsiness, he's a fun loving friend. So like Pisces are said to be some, more dreamy. So maybe you don't pay attention so much and that's why you're clumsy. You're dreaming of something else and um, I just got lost as I was saying that. I just got lost of looking at something else. So that's how you are. You, 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 that's what you might, maybe you have ADHD. Like you start to do something and then you get distracted. So maybe that's why you're clumsy. I don't know. Holy Spirit, tell me more about this uh, Pisces Divine Masculine. Holy Spirit, tell me more about... Eight of Wands. You might have Aries in your chart too. <clears throat> that's what I said to the, to the Pisces Divine Feminine. And Aquarius. Yeah, because Pisces is between Aquarius and Aries. So maybe you've got some of each of those things. Also... You might be talking, um, maybe doing talk therapy to, to heal some kind of heartbreak. Or you're talking about um, getting over a heartbreak. Let's see. Ten of Swords. There was a very painful ending here. Knight of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. So maybe you're getting over some, some kind of heartbreak and it's like there's someone who wants to come towards you. They're holding back, but they want to come towards you. But maybe you don't want this person back with the Ten of Swords. I feel like it's a, it's a blockage here, like a, it's a barrier between you and this person. So this could be a person who wants to come in towards you. But they're holding back because maybe they, they, they hurt you before. Is this someone coming back for you? Holy Spirit, is this Knight of Cups someone coming back towards uh, Pisces, Divine Masculine? Knight of Swords Reverse, no. So who is, uh, maybe it's you, maybe you're the, the Knight of Cups here. Holy Spirit, King of Cups Reversed. Now we've got Queen of Wands, <clears throat> Two of Wands. This could be a conflict between yourself maybe and someone older or between you and someone younger than you. Maybe there's a conflict over a feminine, a Queen of Wands, Two of Wands, someone you could be watching. Maybe you're watching tarot readings because you're interested in a tarot reader. You're watching them. And you're watching other readers to see what they're saying about this read. About, yeah, whatever, your situation. Holy Spirit, who is this Queen of Wands? Holy Spirit, who is this Queen of Wands? Let's get more information. Oh my God, not half the deck, please. Holy Spirit, who is this Queen of Wands? Let's get Ten of Pentacles reversed. I had the Ten of Pentacles. I, I saw it flipped in my deck earlier when I was looking at these characters here. So this could be a, an ex-wife actually of yours or an ex-partner of yours. Two of Swords reversed. Ace of Pentacles, yes. So if this is a tarot reader you're watching... Um, or watching for this person uh, is your ex possibly ex-wife yes again maybe you even have a child with this person nine of wands but this person could be very defensive towards you actually and they're independent they're staying to themselves they feel very guarded towards you and they're um Maybe you want to go towards them too. You want to take a leap of faith and talk to them. 
like I said, you might have Aquarius or Aries in your chart, and uh, this is both Aries and Aquarius. But this person is very guarded towards you, and they want to stay to themselves. We've got 9, 9, we've got 10, 10. I think it's over completely. So this blockage is for you to go towards the person because the person's healing. Maybe they're doing talk therapy. I don't know. Maybe the, the readings they do are therapy for them too. Because I did mention this once in a reading that me doing these readings is kind of like therapy for me. So maybe that's how this person sees it too. Four of Cups reversed. This person could be getting over rejection. Maybe they don't care anymore um, about um, how people view them or something. Three of Pentacles. This person's like working with the Holy Trinity. They're trying to become, they're becoming more spiritual. They're becoming more in tune with divinity. And they are guarded. Also, this is... Um, sometimes I think of the Seven of Wands as kind of like Jesus. So this is someone who is kind of like ascending, right? They're on top of a hill, right? So this person is ascending. They're asking guidance from the universe, from God. Four of Wands. And they're finding stability. They're finding... Um, happiness six of pentacles and they're sharing with others what they have discovered you know but there's some blockage here someone's trapped in their head is this you are you trapped in your head is this pisces trapped in their head what's the eight of swords here King of Swords. I said you might have Aquarius in your chart. So. It's like someone guarding someone else. It's like a guard and a prisoner here. And also. Ah, I asked if this is you. And it's, it's a yes. King of Swords as an answer to that is a yes. That's you. You're trapped in your head. And you're you're your own guardian I think. It's like you're, you're your own worst enemy because Eight of Swords is self-sabotage, right? And yes, Ace of Wands. Eight of Cups, you walked away or this person has walked away from you and now you want them back. Queen of Pentacles, because maybe you see this person's abundant or maybe since this person has walked away from you, they found abundance, I don't know. Look at that, King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so if this person's a twin flame tarot reader and stuff, this person no longer sees you as their emperor. Because she's the queen of pentacles, you're the king of pentacles reversed here. Six of wands reversed, like there's no victory with you. Or maybe that you're in, you have a toxic ego. Ace of swords reversed. Why is the ace of swords reversed? Maybe they feel like you're lying. Ten of Wands. So they feel like you're a burden. And they want to cut you out of their life. Is there anything you can do? I wanted to ask if there's anything you can do to fix it. Seven of Pentacles means having patience. Nine of Swords. Hmm. 79. Maybe someone's born in 79. Or something. I don't know. King of Wands Reverse came out. So... Maybe you're doing something against this person with the King of Wands reversed and the Nine of Swords. And maybe you need to stop. You could be doing magic on them. You could be attacking them in their dreams and stuff. So if you're doing that, you shouldn't do that. Knight of Wands. This could be astral traveling. Since I was talking about just attacking someone in the night, right? 
astral traveling to them and not letting them sleep. I don't know. <laughs> Doing something in their sleep. That's not appropriate. And also King of Wands reverse could be like black magic. Queen of Cups. Ace of Cups reversed. So, um, either this person loves you and you don't, or you love them and they don't. There's unrequited love here. Five of Wands reversed. Someone doesn't want to fight for this anymore. I think they lost love for you. Queen of Swords reversed. I think this person has lost um, their, I mean, love for you. Or even if they still love you, they don't want to take your cup. They don't want you to go towards them. Three of Wands. But the Three of Wands is like waiting for your ships to come in. Is this person still waiting for you? Five of Cups reversed is no longer grieving. So maybe this person has forgiven you. Seven of Cups is fantasizing. So yeah, this person could be still fantasizing about you. Should you go towards this person? Especially since Seven of Cups is the Pisces card. So definitely you're in their energy. Five of... Okay, so I asked if you should go towards the person. So Five of Pentacles reversed is no longer being left out in the cold. So maybe you did let, leave this person out in the cold. Six of Swords is moving into calmer water. So my, maybe you need to travel to this person. Not astral travel, physically travel to this person. And talk it out. Anything? Okay. Eight of Pentacles, work on it. Give it a shot. Yeah, so you need to put in some effort because maybe you're the one who didn't put in the effort previously. <sighs> oh, but you see, if you work on it, you'll have the Two of Cups. So this can be saved. You can save this relationship. Oh my God, the Fool fell in my lap. I wanted to finish the reading, but the Fool fell in my lap. So yes, definitely, go for it. It's like you're, you're urged to go for it. <laughs> okay, cool. Good luck. Have a good day. Take care.